In this video I'm going to introduce you to our 3D lighting design software which is called Fluid Designer for 3D Lighting and it runs under Blender. Uh, you can use it for creating your own personalised lighting style such as the one in the top left hand corner there. You can create tessellated designs such as the one in the top right, parametric designs such as the one in the bottom right hand corner or Voronoi style lighting uh, such as the one in the bottom left hand corner. Um, so the application looks something like this and this uh, personalised one here is actually just made up of a number of different objects just joined together essentially. So on the right here we've got an uh, Aquarius pattern and on the left we've got some heart patterns and they're just found in the object library essentially. So under Patterns Astrological you will find the Aquarius pattern so it's just a case of selecting this object, putting it onto the workspace and joining it with other our objects. And the heart pattern again, you know, um, it's just a combination of this pattern and this pattern here. And all of these are actually put inside of a uh, lighting frame. And in this particular example on the screen, I've used a uh, cube frame and uh, support rings and support flaps. So it's just this object and a couple of these objects over here as well. And so that's how you could uh, just literally just join objects together from our object library to create a finished um, pendant lampshade. Now another example that we could show you is uh, if you go to our object library, these designs here, these 11 square, 9 square, 7 square, etc. are all kind of similar and these are tessellated objects. Now the icon on the left hand side just gives you an idea of what the pattern that's applied to the pendant lamp is and the objects themselves are these objects in the middle here and we've got a triangular lampshade with this pattern, square lampshade with this pattern, uh, hexagonal with this pattern etc. So if I just choose 11 square 4 pattern that's the basic uh, object and I'll just switch off the grid floor there. Now if we put, uh, if we go to object library and go to light bulbs um, there are some cutting tools available here to put holes in the top of these to uh, enable the cable to go through and there are also some light bulbs and I'm going to use E14 candle filament light bulb and uh, it's just a case of uh, putting it there so that you can see that it does fit neatly inside. Now one of the advantages of using a computer here is that if I go to view and top view uh, make sure I've got that selected and uh, if I just select some points at the top here so I've just highlighted the top of that and if I go to view and top view sorry view and front view uh, and uh, if I just switch on proportional editing what I can do is I can redesign this and change the appearance of it quite easily so I'm just using proportional editing here uh, I'm just going to switch off proportional editing for a second <coughs> and just highlight the bottom of this and just pull it down and highlight those points there and just pull them back into the center and uh, if I switch proportional editing back on again and use scale you can see I can redesign this and uh, if I just go to view and front view I can also select the bottom and change the design of that. Now you do need to be careful and make sure that bulb will still come out but that's how easy it is using these tessellated patterns to create different styles and designs here. And you can create your own tessellated patterns as well. Uh, you're, not, uh, you're not restricted just to the patterns that are available here. You can create these patterns and create different objects yourself um, using our software. All right, so these patterns you can design yourself. All right, so um, if we now go on and look at uh, Voronoi style, uh, I'll just clear the screen. So uh, if you go to the object library there are some examples of Voronoi designs and they basically look something like these ones here. Uh, and essentially what we do is we just have a kind of profile curve uh, and apply some modifiers. So uh, if we consider something like this for example what we can do is if we go to the groups folder this time uh, these are some basic Bezier type lathing functions that we can use and I'm going to create a circular one here 
and uh, what I've got is essentially I've got two objects on the screen at the moment there's a profile curve and if I go into the edit mode you can see that on the left hand side there I'll just switch off the grid floor again so you can select these control points and you can reshape this until you get a design that you a uh, style that you're happy with now it is important to put a bulb in as well on the inside there uh, but I'm not going to do that in this case I'm just going to assume that that's reasonably okay and uh, what we can then do is uh, if we uh, convert that object to a mesh by applying a couple of modifiers and uh, I'm going to set a couple of decimate modifiers first of all uh, and then a wireframe modifier and it is a case of uh, setting all of these values and a subdivision modifier you can see I can create a Voronoi pattern there and the beauty about this is that if I just change the ratio over here I can change that Voronoi pattern quite quickly and quite easily and you would need to make sure that the gap at the top is not too big for the bulb to come through. Probably would need it a bit narrower than that. So that's the Voronoi style. Now if I just go to File and New again, now the final type that I want to look at, consider, are parametric designs and they look something like this here. And these designs can actually be created using curve functions. Um, so Celtic knot curves, N of the curves, tennis scene curves. And the way that we can do that is uh, go to add and curve and uh, I'm going to use this tennis scene curve here and uh, it is a case of setting values over here in the left of the screen so I'm going to set that one to 120 I'm going to set the height to 110 scale to 5 and then it is a case of playing around with these other values here so uh, I'm going to set that at 7 and 3 and 53 and uh, if I just hide the uh, grid floor there and uh, if I just go to view and front view so you can see what the pattern looks like there and uh, view and right view and uh, again if I just um, add a light bulb in and I'm just going to use the uh, candle filament one there you can see how it fits now it is then a case of uh, changing the thickness and whatever of this and for that what I would do is I would add a bevel object and uh, set this to the uh, bevel object and then if I change the thickness over here just apply that so you can see that I can change the thickness of it just by applying a bevel object and uh, what I would then need to do is to go into uh, edit mode and uh, select those probably switch on proportional editing and just scale it in at the top there so that the bulb won't fit through so that's, uh, that's how you can create these parametric style designs. You can find all of these on our website at thirddesigner.co.uk. Thank you for watching.